Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. So every play to earn game has their strategy on how they can earn the interest of the community. And one of them is to build a user friendly and easy to play game so that they can easily help the players and the newbies to enter the blockchain. And when they become successful eventually, they will be able to evolve the game itself. Today we will be reviewing the game called Etermon. And you can use it as your basis when you do your research about this NFT. But before we continue, if you are passionate about NFTs and crypto games, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be updated to every game review that we will be releasing. In 3033, one astronaut spaceship got broken. He has no choice except to land on a strange asteroid. On this planet, he finds out new species. They are monsters that have the power of different elements. They are determined to go back to the Earth. The astronaut needs to use a space gate, which rules by the master of this planet. The explorer has no alternative. He has to catch and train the Eterman to fight against the Master. Then, he can have a chance to go home. That's a great game trailer and now that you watch it, you already have the story about this game wherein an astronaut needs to go back to the Earth and in order to do that, he needs to train the Ethermon to battle big monsters who owns the space gate. Ethermon is created and develop in a user-friendly and easy-to-play manner to help players and newbies enter the blockchain-based game which is known as a totally novel field. So they believe on play for fun and earn for real. At the early part of the project, it is crucial to have the right team or organization that can really deliver the vision and mission and be flexible on how they will address the challenges along the way that's why here you can see their core team they are all doxed here and they provided their linkedin accounts you can also check it by yourself this is their picture and they're already spread across globally from us to mexico to brazil india thailand indonesia vietnam and philippines guys we also see here that they are a member of molly group so this is the network wherein they provide full service digital media and it is a tech company so it was founded last 2019 and they have a diverse team of nearly 200 employees and offering broad range of digital and technology services. They also have multiple advisors that are doxxed with their LinkedIn accounts in their website so you can check them out as well. It's also good to look at the tokenomics of the projects at the early stage. They've allocated 4% for the advisors, 5% for the reserve, 19% for the team, 5% for the liquidity, 35% for the ecosystem staking and airdrop, 12% for the marketing and partnership, and 20% for the token sale. The project will be in the BSC blockchain network and the total token supply is 1 billion. And before we forget, the name of the token is ETM. So we can see here that the token sale allocation will be released for the next 18 months after some percentage for the TGE. The core team tokens will be locked for one year, including the advisors. Based on my experience, of course, at the early stage of the project, since they needed to go with the strategic partners and investors at the token sale which covers the seed private and public IDO there's a big possibility that some of the tokens will be sold by the early supporter but of course it can affect the selling pressure within the project but if the projects continue to thrive and continue to earn the trust of the community of course people will continue to hold their tokens and avoid the selling pressure all right so big partners and investors means that they have this contractual obligation with the people that they've met 
whether it is camera on or within their offices so here you can see that their partners which are familiar to me are like blue wheel the rose on which is a launch pad the babylons and other partners here like crypto rank and so on we also have press media partners where they publish information about the game to the yahoo finance yahoo news market watch and other asian publishers here other than the investors and partners so they are audited by certic and sf it is developed by the Molly Studio, a member of Molly Network. So in terms of credentials and security partner for their blockchain, it adds more confidence. Yeah, you, you know guys, if you are watching my other videos, we talk about the Certic and we know and I mentioned how much is the price of getting audited by Certic and how credible they are in terms of providing suggestions on how to avoid risk in terms of securing your blockchain. They have this card bottle 2D turn base as, as of the moment but they are also targeting metaverse of connected games in the future. So they have about 6 monsters that have rank. So the ranks are N, R, S, R and S, S, R. And then they have the leveling. So you start from N to R and then R to S, R and then S, R to S, S, R and then S, S, R to S, S, R plus. So there are 5 basic elements. So fire, water, electric, plant and earth and these are the examples of their nfts so they will be covering campaign stage and the tower war guild the world boss daily quest weekly quest achievement guild boss and the season so these are the activities within the game guys luckily we've got a chance to test the game for particular features which are the world map the leveling up and the afk so the first one is the world map and the world map is like the adventure part of it so earlier i, I tested it weekly so if you click for the level one you need to set up the formation of your nfts so you can put maximum of five i think based on the current blocks here and you can set up by clicking setup and then choosing the formation that you want so for example i wanted to have this one or this one or this one i can do that and then for other setup you can select it here for your team two and three so for example we will be using this one and then i will just click the add put the character and this one as well and let's say let's put this one who looks like Pikachu then go back and then play so this is a simulation game where you can change the speed of the game here so like for example that was really quick because it's a level one and then you can earn the coins and experience so you can change here so if you click this as one so the speed will slow down and then you make it faster so speed up the simulation for, for some reason I cannot click the setting here and when you click the flag it will bring you back to the map to the world map so look at that so you, you cannot select it for now of course we're still in the internal so if you go back to the World map. So you can also change the difficulty of the game, but for now it's not clickable. And this tree as well. So I, I don't know yet how to use that, but maybe this is related to the map. Because when you go back to the map, there are different areas here, right? From level 1 to 10, level 11 to 20, and level 21 to 30. And you can see here their vision of the like probably metaverse. This is the way they want to do that. That they will, they will expand and build more areas within the game. This one, guys, is the AFK box wherein 
they provide the opportunity for the players to still ensure that their strength or the strength of their eater mon can still be on the level of the other players so they will be providing like 12 hours afk box so that your eater mon can still gain amount of experience and gold if you are not in the world map doing the adventure so here you can see that we're gaining that so we, we get that coin and they are battling with some of the eater mods as well and then when you click this you will be able to obtain the the coins and the experience and you will also level up your account even if you are not consistently playing the game you will be able to level up your nfts so guys if this project captures your attention so they, they've been planning the testing since the third quarter of 2021 and right now when we focus on the quarter one 2022 this is ongoing the game testing for kols and game internal testing for for some of the community i believe this is a good strategy that they're focusing on a working game and engaging the community for all of the testing feedback will definitely help them to evolve the game that they are building you can also join to their social media accounts here on their website so you can uh, check them out guys so if you will look at the announcement account so they have 89,000 people there and when you go to their discord channel they have around 11,000 members their twitter account has 115k followers their facebook page has 48k followers 3000 on their youtube channel and then 987 followers for their tiktok account and then you can also follow them at the top page of their website you will see all of the events that they have so i i would like to mention the ethermon ido whitelist event so you can click the join now and then take some glim link of course if you'll be able to get some slots for the ido then you can buy the tokens at the cheaper price and it's up to you how you will use it all right guys so before we end this video let's remember that building a product is not easy and it requires the right people who will do the right processes so that they can deliver their mission and vision actually investments becomes unrealistic or scum or a failure when we look at it as a get rich quick scheme that is why it's always good to look at an organization or a product that you believe that can be successful at the long-term perspective usually at the early stage of the project what matters is that we believe that the team is capable to deliver their promises and their commitments the tokenomics shows information that they are for long term and we look at the backers the big boys the known launch pods and venture capitals as they are having this contractual obligation with the people involved in the project and it maintains the professionalism in delivering the milestones so again guys as i always say so let's ensure that we know the project that we are investing with and that we are only investing what we can afford to lose if you are interested to have more serious discussion about this nft game so you can join at my discord community we can definitely discuss anything about it and at the same time have fun and i can also share some of the opportunities that we see in this blockchain space thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye